Hey, bruh. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to cover the first episode of this crackhead ass anime, but I'm here for episode two. So when we left off for the last episode, right, this bit was freaking out because the nigga had a similar name to a crush or the same name, whatever. And while she was panicking, this nigga was turning back into freaky granny. But then she stops and fixes him again and then says, hey, that's not your name no more, my nigga. And then she gives him another name and he's trying to deny it. Then we see a sequence of them going through the city or something, right? Bickering like they always do until it turns daytime and then she's like oh maybe you won't turn into granny no more because it's daytime but it turns out that wasn't the case right so then they finally get to the granny house right he's fixing his glasses a little bit right and then she says okay go ahead we're going to my grandma house soon as this nigga step in this nigga was literally getting cooked and she had to save bro tossing him in some water right and then she tried to figure out what was it and it turns out it was a seal that her grandma has at the entrance so evil spirits can't come in so she takes down the barrier right and this nigga is still terrified to step in and he has this ugly form when he's trying to go in because he's scared and when he was in the process of getting barbecued his hairstyle changed anyway they go inside right she calls out for the grandma but the grandma isn't there so she's like oh whatever i'm gonna go change close the door then when he closes the door he starts transforming back and then she freaks out thinking that he's walking in on her changing so instead of closing the door she just tells him to turn around so then she finally changes her clothes right she's like hey that old lady took your meat right let me see what's down there but he was like no bit you can't see my dick blah 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 they bicker a little bit they argue whose fault it is that his meat got took but then things get serious as he talks about i had no friends before but then when you stood up for me for them disney channel bullies i had to make the opportunity count and get a friend then basically goes with the trope of pathetic anime niggas like oh yeah you don't have to be my friend after this blah 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 but she was actually wholesome right here she was like i do want to be a friend who else would i talk about weird stuff with and all this other shit but then he was quiet right and probably emotional you're thinking oh this is gonna be wholesome she trying to get him to talk out of nowhere this nigga calls her ugly so then they start fighting again right but then that's until they hear a doorbell and he's like what is that right but then she's like i haven't heard that doorbell in years usually those happens when evil spirits come not when humans come and then we remember oh she didn't put the seal back up because this nigga would have got barbecued therefore they might be cooked so they opt to go out another door trying to get to the entrance so they can put the barrier back up and he could be safe but then the spirit's not there so they're like oh where'd it go until they see a dark cloud in the sky and their whole freaking realm transform inside of a building or some shit and then while they're in there they're trying to figure out what's going on and then black fog is coming out which is causing both of them to bleed from their nose and within and then after that we see this big behind fat stank breath ass spirit right and he goes to attack them and then they start running away and then he says something about wanting a banana right so she's like wait you got another dick or something but then he says no and then says that it's actually not a spirit it's probably an alien because of something that he read right so after a couple more minutes of strategizing trying to figure out what the hell they're gonna do there was a point in time where he couldn't transform back he looked at his hand he was like you know what cuz if you hold me in a transition enough to where I could control evil freaky granny, then I could probably take this nigga. But then she was unsure about it, right? And after a little back and forth, they realized there was dire they had to decide. And then it turns out this nigga can't control it. And he has a certain form. This nigga look cool as shit. But then in the process, he becomes a nonchalant fucking weirdo. But at least he got aura in this form. In the other form, that nigga's a dweeb. Anyway, while he's acting nonchalant, she's trying to tell him to stop talking like that, whatever the bickering a little bit the alien tries to clap this nigga again but this time he cuts the alien's fingers off so then they thinking oh this finna be sweet nigga i got this sweet new for all this nigga start coughing up blood saying he can't handle what's going on with his body so then he was about to get stomped by this sumo nigga but then she saves him right and then they're like wait this is a sumo wrestler let's see what happens if his hands touch the ground so he goes back in the form and then cuts his legs and then the alien's hands touch the ground and it disappears so they're thinking oh we might have did it but it turns out they didn't this alien nigga got back up and cooked the goofy out of her and not only cooked her he continued to cook her beating the goofy out of her right and then she was like i hate cheaters and blah 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 and this nigga kept punching her right but then it turns out that was her strategy because he wanted him to cave the wall in so he could go behind the barrier and then pull that nigga back in and put the seal back up that was a goddamn complex plan bro hey but it worked that nigga got cooked and then after that she's holding him right you think everything is fine and dandy she's holding him 
again right after he started transform so he won't transform but then it turns out this bit is exhausted because she was just getting haymaker by a big old sumo nigga and then she passes out and this nigga's just transforming on the ground now that's the end of the episode this anime is absolutely insane bruh it's a fun watch every time i watch it bruh and i'm gonna try and cover every episode and i'm gonna try and get back uploading i have re-uploaded a lot of, of videos but that's because youtube be haunting me bro i'm real but uh it is what it is bro that's life i guess